Hey guys, this is SJ back with another video. Uh, today we're going to be doing an update. So as you can see, there's a bunch that's changed about this uh, server and uh, since the last video. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm just going to walk through and kind of explain what changed and well you can probably honestly see a lot of it's changed but uh, yeah so let's go ahead and get started so nothing's really changed for the networking as far as the networking it's all been the same um as far as well let's start with the actual rack itself we, we, we i've gotten a, a new rack and i've done away with the old one and this is the new one the one that I'm going to be using from now on. Uh, it's a four post uh, open frame rack. Um, it's uh, a 27U, 27U. And uh, it was, uh, the price for it is uh, 150 on eBay. I bought from 150. Uh, I'll put the seller's um, eBay account on the uh, screen so you guys can actually uh, see if you guys ever if you're interested in buying it uh, but I got it for one I got it for uh, eighty dollars um, so yeah uh, you can offer him you can send offers and he'll usually accept some but it just depends on what you offer him um, I was lucky I got it for eighty but I thought you guys were gonna for eighty if you buy if you offer him eighty uh, but uh, yeah the uh, the four post open frame rack server these are some Gerber um, rack rails, uh, data center rails. Uh, I want to get some more. They're really nice. They're really good. Um, but uh, yeah, as far as this, this is the uh, old unmanaged switch that I was using, and um, I'm I stopped using this because I didn't have a need for. It. I wanted to uh, have everything managed, but. I want to have this in the back, back here, mounted back here. So it'll, so I can take the wires from here, go to here, and then take it to the uh, managed ones. Do it like that. So uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it like that. I don't know, it's a, it's a work in progress. I'm just thinking about it. Um, as far as the servers go, uh, so we got a massive upgrade. To our arsenal we got uh two r210s and three r610s so these two r210s are just wonderful i got these uh so well this one the one on the top i got um your this one isn't it hasn't changed i've had this in the last video this one this r210 and this r210 i both got for a hundred dollars on uh offer up the guy he had to get rid of them and he didn't really need them anymore so he just kind of gave them to me for a hundred bucks. Um, this one right, here, these two right here, I bought from a guy on offer up for uh, 120, and this one I bought online for on eBay for eighty six dollars. Um, these are just the same eight uh, sixties. They're the same old 860s that I had. I just put, I just have covers from them. I know they say uh, R, R200s, but they're actually just 860s, that's all. Uh, they have a lock for them. The keys are inside of them, but uh, I have one on the side right up here to lock them if I need to. Uh, but yeah, uh, nothing has really changed. Uh, the only thing that's uh, really changed about this or it's going to change about this is that I'm going to be putting instead of having a Linux on this I'm gonna put Windows on here uh, I also took this apart and um, put the uh, cable that I had uh, pulled apart from it so I could uh, use a hard drive here because this didn't run off a hard drive it ran off of like a tiny little uh, um, like uh, let me actually show you guys real quick it ran off of this little thing ran off this and it didn't have enough storage it was a flash storage and it was terrible it sucked so I uh, took it apart and uh, used a, um, an actual hard drive and uh, it was a Molex adapter that pulled off from this array of uh, this array of hard drives 
and disarray didn't have any power so i got a white splitter and connected the hard drive back to the uh, power and also this back to power so now all this is powered and it also has its own uh, uh operating system as well these are just disc, disc shelves they uh they're not managed or anything so yep uh that is the same ups i had before uh and this keystone panel i just have this down here as a filler space i'm going to be uh i'm looking at kvms right now and i'm thinking about moving all of this down one u so i can uh utilize the uh, kvm and uh yeah i'm thinking it'll be a good idea for what i'm trying to do and uh i think it'll be good uh but uh let's go ahead and pause it for a second so here's the back nothing is connected right now this is all just bare bones i just finished putting it up all together today uh these are the those are two r210s these are the r610s that i have to put it uh plug in these are the 860s uh the nimbus uh storage the disc shelves and the ups uh, now all of this has to be wired up and I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow morning get that out the way and uh, I'm talking to some guy on a offer up to kind of see if I can get a, a KVM from him he uh, has this really nice KVM but it's been post for like a year it's like $800 and she's like ugh it's too much money for a KVM but it's a 16 port KVM so I could probably see why it costs so much but Again, it's a lot, so. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, this thing's really heavy. In case you didn't know, this thing's like fucking. It's like impossible trying to push this. But, uh, yeah, pretty much it. Uh, if you guys like the uh, rack, again, I'll post it. Uh, I'll put it in the description so you guys can go check it out. It's a really nice rack. The only thing I don't like about it, it has a little wiggle. So like if you push it, it stays there for a second, but then it comes back. But like it has a little wiggle. Um, thinking about getting a uh, uh, like a, a beam going across from here, so it doesn't do that as much. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm trying to figure it out. I I like how it is now. I just want to see if I can get something to, I guess, tie in so that it won't do that anymore. Won't well, has it have this little wiggle? So yeah, that's uh that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys like the video, like it. If you didn't, hit the dislike dislike button and tell me where I can improve. Uh, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please, you know, tell me in the uh, comments. Um, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. But that's it. I uh, love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.